Hello and welcome to our online graduate celebration for the class of 2020 and class of 2021. I'm Stuart Martin, Senior Student Communications Officer here at Glasgow Caledonian University and I'm delighted to be your host for today's event. While we are unable to come together to celebrate your achievements for now, today we mark a special occasion for you, your family and friends and all the university staff who have supported you along the way. Coming up, we have messages from across the GCU community, including our Chancellor, Dr Annie Lennox OBE. We look back on your best bits from studying here at GCU and we hear from former student presidents as well as messages from familiar faces. To start the celebrations today, it is my pleasure to introduce Principal and Vice-Chancellor of Glasgow Caledonian University, Professor Pamela Gillies, CBE. It really is a great privilege and pleasure for me to congratulate Glasgow Caledonian University's Class of 2021 graduates. What an amazing group of graduates you are. You've worked and studied so very hard over the years and truly deserve the success you have achieved. And in this year, a time like no other because of the pandemic, you have had to be especially resilient and overcome huge challenges to achieve what you have. So be proud of your achievements. Your university is proud of you, as are your family and friends and all the university staff who've supported you during the years. Whilst we are also very disappointed that we can't come together as a university to celebrate your achievements this year, we really do look forward to a time when that will be possible in person. So your university looks forward to the time in the future when we really can mark this important celebration together in person. In the meantime, we have some special activities prepared for just right now. Today, you will hear some congratulatory messages from across the GCU community. And we will also share some special memories of your time at GCU. Now, next month, you will have that all important opportunity to capture your special moment in your robes with your graduation photograph you will be able to hire your academic robes to come to your home or you can book an appointment to come onto our Glasgow campus and have your photographs taken by our graduation partner, Eid and Ravenscroft. And we will also be sending you a special commemorative brochure in the coming weeks to celebrate all that you have achieved during your time with the university. As a graduate and alumnus of the University for the Common Good, I know for sure that you will use all the knowledge and skills you have gained whilst with us to make a real difference in the world. I look forward to hearing about the impact that you're going to make in the coming years. And I will now hand over to the chair of the university court, who will lead some very special messages for you from our GCU community. Many congratulations, class of 2020 and 2021. As the Chair of Court, let me lead the way in congratulating both the class of 2020 and the class of 2021 on your amazing achievements. We are all really proud of what you have achieved and you've done it under the most exceptional of circumstances. I would also take this opportunity of welcoming you as new members of our international alumni group and I would encourage you to participate both to maintain existing friendships and to make new ones and remember throughout your lives you will always be welcome at GCU and be part of this illustrious group of GCU graduates. I would also want to wish you well for your careers ahead and no matter what you decide to do Please do continue to embrace the values of Glasgow Caledonian University as the university for the common good. And above all, carry on your quest for learning. I also know that our academic and our professional services staff from right across the university are equally proud of everything that you've achieved. And here are a few messages specifically for you. Congratulations once more.
Class of 2020 and 2021, I humbly applaud you all. You've been through trials and tribulations and you've come through triumphantly. And for that, you should be all very, very proud of yourselves. Yes, you're graduating at a really interesting time, but regardless of the challenges and great opportunities that lie ahead, remember you have the power to positively impact others. So continue on your journey, showing that grit and perseverance and I'm sure success will undoubtedly follow. This has been a tough time for all of us, but I think the efforts and the commitment you've made over the period towards finalising your degrees has been exceptional and an example of your tenacity. You have earned your degree in extraordinary circumstances and we are all so extremely proud of your achievements. I truly wish you all the best as you leave GCU on the next stage of your studies or career. But remember, you will always be part of our family. So please, keep in touch. We also hope to see some of you back to do some master's level or even doctoral level studies with us in the future. Stay passionate and motivated on your next steps and keep your imagination alive. That's what will make the difference for you. Stay passionate about the subject. Strive to be the best you can be. And don't forget to come back and tell us about your career developments. The world is yours now to make better. But in doing so, stay true to your values. Act with integrity and responsibility. Listen carefully and tolerate differences before you make your decisions. Most of all, have fun. Your career should be something that you're really passionate about and good luck. We hope that you're as proud of yourselves as we are of you. We wanted to say please keep in touch, don't be strangers as you go on into your further education and your nice new jobs. Let us know how you're doing, but most of all, a big super congratulations from us. Congratulations! Congratulations! congratulations. congratulations. Extremely proud of you and all that you have achieved. We wish you all the very best for the future. Congratulations. Well done. Well done on all your great results and fantastic achievements. I wish you all the very best of luck in your future careers, but please do remember to stay in touch. Congratulations from the Department of Nursing and Community Health on your graduation. Take care everyone, enjoy your summer and enjoy your celebrations of your success. It's up to you now to use that knowledge and thinking skills and develop your career. We wish you well in that, work hard, be bold, and don't forget, keep in contact with us. Responsible for voicing student views and aspirations, as well as leading on all things social, the Students' Association plays a vital role in your student experience. This has been particularly true during the pandemic, with our student president working closely with the university in our COVID response. It is my pleasure to welcome back Class of 2020 student president Ailey Fulton and Class of 2021 student president Susan Doherty, who are joined by graduates from both cohorts to share their memories of studying at GCU. Hello, I'm Ailey Fulton and I was the student president from 2019 to 2020. And I'm Susan Doherty and I was a student president from 2020 to 2021. So we're here today with some of your fellow graduates to discuss what their experience was like studying and now graduating at GCU. But first I wanted to say a few words from me about your successes and achievements. So as we all know, class of 2020 is such a rocky end just before the end of their course and had to finish off their final module work and dissertations just when the, when the pandemic was kicking off. And class of 2021 had to complete their full final year online, online without seeing friends, or stepping foot on campus. So your achievements despite COVID are extra special and I think you'll go down in history for being so resilient and for completing your degrees in the most unique and challenging circumstances. You should be so proud of your successes, I know that I am. And I know that Ailey has also got a few words to say, over to you Ailey. Thank you Susan. Yeah, I think it's, it's really important that we touch on, you know, the end of my sabbatical year was when COVID hit and obviously that was a really difficult point a lot of uncertainty around both students and staff and no one really knew what was going on and it was a bit of a wobbly time for all of us and I think what really came out strongly for me and it always does and what I always reflect back to when looking at GCU and my time there 
is that there's a sense of community at GCU. And I think that really came out strongly between all the students who lend out a hand to each other to support everyone through the pandemic, but also to the staff as well, who turned to their students and turned to each other and said, you know what, I'm here if you need me and if you need to chat. And I think that's what's really come out of this uh, for me and hopefully for you too, is that we've all got somebody to turn to um, when we need someone. So I just wanna say a massive congratulations and a well done and that we're all proud of you. Uh, I hope you're proud of yourself. I know people around you are proud of you as well and all the best in what's yet to come. And with that said, we really want to welcome our special guests today. So we have Chrissy and Kathy joining us on the call and I might pass over to them to introduce what course they're from. Hi there, my name is Chrissy Ross. I am a 2020 graduate of the International Events Management course and I'll pass you on to Kafinka. Uh, hi, I'm Kafinka Mue. I'm a 2021 graduate of the Bachelor of Arts in Multimedia Journalism. Lovely. So we're really excited to have you here today and we wanted to ask you just a few questions about your time in GCU and hopefully set, shed some light on your experiences with us. Uh, so I'll maybe ask Chrissy a few questions and then I'll pass over to Susan to ask Kathy and then we'll just see what happens from there. Uh, so Chrissy, what made you choose GCU and what, and what was it and uh, was it anything like you expected it to be? Um, the reason I chose GCU is because I come from an events background in industry anyway, and the reputation that the university has for delivering events and tourism education is excellent, if not the best in Scotland, if not the best in the UK. So for me, it was all about uh, attaining an academic qualification at the best place possible. And that for me was thankfully somewhere that was 20 minutes down the road. Um, how do you think it's compared to what you were expecting when you came to GCU? Well, for myself, my expectations were completely blown out of the water because when I initially joined, I thought, right, I'm just going to develop my professional practice and learn a lot more about theory, whereas I actually learned a lot more about myself um, and my character and my personality and developing not just the way I work, but the way I approach and the way I view things, everything from my own ethics system to uh, just my approach to life daily you know everything seems to have improved you know so it's not just the education and understanding to the work relevant stuff with regards to my industry that's improved it's been my whole life really that's great to hear I think that's something that you know a lot of us say about GCU is that it's not just about the education it's about everything that came alongside that and a lot of people leave the university feeling like they know themselves a bit better which is always really great thing to to leave uni with and so with that said what do you think your highlight has been from your time at GCU? I think my highlight was the fact that the vast majority of people I started the course with completed the course. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm very much someone that likes being part of a community and the, the cohort I was a part of 2020 was a really special bunch in the International Events Management Group and we had excellent lecturers uh, led by Jenny Flynn and Daniel Baxter and all the lecturers were great but the students that I was with were fantastic and they were brilliant very supportive with a, a real group that worked around each other and helped each other out as much as possible and socialized a lot as well um, so it's setting up the event society um, restarting that, the great work that Naomi Hollis had done the year before and getting it up and running again. Um, that was great and being a part of that society and getting that going. But just seeing so many of the people I started off with complete their academic journey as well and not give up despite all the barriers that we had thrown at us with the, the start of the pandemic was hugely important. And yeah, that's definitely the highlight. Good. Well, I hope you're all celebrating and maybe one day you can celebrate together in the same room. Who knows? Fingers crossed. And the last question for me, what does it mean to you that you've studied at the university for the common good? For me, it's all about the approach that you take, um, not just as a current student, but as you're taking thereafter as a graduate. So my approach now to my working life isn't just to do the best by myself, but to do the best by the communities I work with, to do the best by the industries that I engage with, to do the best by the people that I engage with. And that comes through everything from taking a responsible approach to things, taking responsibility for issues that are not necessarily yours, you know, and having an ethical approach to the way that you work and the way that you interact with others and taking real pride in what you do as well. 
you know that that comes through the, the whole element the whole student experience yeah thank you okay i'll, I'll pass over to susan Thanks, Ailey. So I'm going to ask um, Cathy a few questions. So Cathy, similar question that Ailey had asked Chrissy. So you are an international student and you choose, you, you had a lot of places to choose from, um, what countries you could have went to. You came to Glasgow and you came to GCU. So um, what made you choose us and is it what you expected? Um, so I started in Glasgow the year before I came to uni. I was an au pair for a year and that was really when I fell up, fell in love with the city and I knew um, like I kind of scrapped my plans about studying in Germany and I knew I wanted to study here and then I um, knew I wanted to go into journalism so I just looked around like looked for journalism courses like all across the country but I would have preferred Glasgow and then I found my course and that was actually my top choice because it really um, interlinked the like theory and a lot of practical parts and it was also double credited by very highly highly regarded um, industry professionals so um, it was really my top choice because I fell in love with the city and then I did a campus tour and also fell in love with the uni. Fantastic. Yeah, I remember doing the campus tour when I was coming to study and um, I quite a few campus tours. And I think that is what made it for me, you know, the sense of community and the welcoming from everybody, I think, at GCU. So obviously you have studied and graduated during a pandemic, you know, can't ignore the fact of that. So can you tell us about how you coped with the move to online learning and how you cope with dealing with obviously a very stressful time, both educationally and personally? Um, I think what was really like the way we cope was just staying in constant communication with like each other and the lecturers we're quite we were quite a small course so we like everyone knew each other and the lecturers really made sure to check in with us like during the last well year and a half that we studied in um i personally like i cope i think I moved back to Glasgow because I was actually fortunate enough to have a couple of classes on campus because, as I said, it's quite a practical course, especially in our last year. Um, so I went for walks with my flatmate. It was just like the usual thing that probably everyone did during the pandemic, like walks, starting to cook, make banana bread. But it really helped just kind of have that sense of like community within the class and like feeling like the university or our lectures really supported us that that really helped because I think otherwise we would have felt really alone. No that's great I'm, I'm just laughing at the banana bread that's why Ailey started laughing I think we've probably tried how many different renditions of Ailey's banana bread. We're probably on like the uh, 20th version now and I think everyone <laughs> that I give it to tells me to change one more thing about it so I don't maybe it's not for me I'll stick to the jam making was my my go-to at the start of the pandemic. Yeah. Um, so just just to sort of a couple of things to finish off, Cathy. So what are your hopes and aspirations for the future? What's next for you? Um, so I'm staying here over the summer, but then I'm moving actually like back to Germany and then I'm hoping to go into journalism. Like I really like broadcast journalism, which is like funny because at the beginning of the of my studies, I actually preferred print and that kind of changed because I really could try out every aspect of it. So um, I'm hoping to go into radio um, in a station back at home. But first and foremost, I'm going to organize my move back and enjoy the summer here. That's great. We're really glad that you're staying for the summer anyway. So if you get any special messages that you would like to pass on to your fellow graduates or the staff at the university? Um, to the staff at university, thank you. Just thank you for sticking with us over the four years, but especially over the last year for, for checking in, for doing your best in the like trying circumstances um and for my fellow gadgets well done us i would say um it's been a trying time it's been hard to finish a dissertation without having without having the opportunity to go to the library and all kind of suffer together so well and us for getting so far well and us for getting a degree during a pandemic and all the best for the future 
That's lovely, Cathy. Thanks so much for that. And thanks to everybody. It's been lovely sharing stories and you should all be very proud of all your achievements. Congratulations from all of us. Now let's take a look back at some of the memorable moments from the class of 2020 and 2021's time at Glasgow Caledonian University. I was nervous about two hours ago, now I'm excited. Yeah, and now I'm here, so it's not so bad. But I don't even know what I'm nervous about. We're actually busy start, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing good. Amazing. What's the thing about GC you so far? It's really big, really big, really modern, really nice, really clean. Yeah. Love it. I'm so happy I trust GCU. you. Greatest of all time. Role model. Football god. <laughs> Whenever I think about Alex Ferguson, uh, what comes to my mind is this man knows how to get results. What a wonderful reflection on your time as a student at GCU. I'm Adil Rahu, the current student president, and I wanted to let you know that as graduate of GCU, you have now become part of our alumni community. Just because you aren't studying with us anymore doesn't mean that your relationship with the university ends. In fact, we hope that you continue to engage with us throughout your career and life. There are lots of opportunities to do this, whether it's studying with us further, taking part in our MINT program, joining us for our series of online and physical events where you can hear from leaders in your industry, or eventually coming back as a leader in your own industry to inspire the next generation of students. We want you to keep in touch. You can find out more by visiting the website gcu.ac.uk alumni. 
During your time at GCU, you have been inspired by staff from across the university, and we know that you wanted the opportunity to thank them for their support and their encouragement. Next up, here are some of your messages for the staff who have championed you and your abilities throughout your time with us. I'm a proud graduate of GCU and I'm honored to express my heartiest gratitude and thanks to all my teachers, module leaders, GCU Learn team and all the faculty members who provide their best knowledge, skills, assistance and guidance to complete my course. Proud to be a GCU alumni. Thanks. I wanted to say a massive thank you to all of the staff and the lecturing teams in the School of Engineering and Built Environment, um, with a particular thanks to those involved in my Department of Civil Engineering and Environmental Management. Um, you've supported us throughout the past four years and specifically within these uh, more challenging times due to COVID. Um, it's very much appreciated and you've helped us get there, so thank you very much to each and every one of you. I felt pleased to have such a great lecturers who support us in a very hard time of COVID-19. I really appreciate their efforts. Thank you to become our supporter to achieve our goal. I just want to say a big thank you to all the library staff for helping out with all the work, including the dissertation during this really difficult year. It's brilliant to be graduating and I just want to say a big thank you to all the staff and lecturers at GCU for all the support over the last four years, especially during the last couple which have been very difficult due to the pandemic. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of the lecturers from the GCU Law Department who helped me throughout my four years of study and just shaped me as the professional and person I am today. Um, you're all amazing human beings and I could have never done this without you. Thank you so much. Each year, the university welcomes a new cohort of honorary graduates recognised for their outstanding achievements in their field. Honorary graduates are selected in fields aligned to the university's research and teaching or whereby they have made a significant contribution to the common good. They serve as inspirational figures for our student and graduate community, with many actively engaging in a variety of activities across the university. This year, we are proud to welcome a new cohort of honorary graduates. Let's take a look at who they are as we welcome them to our GCU community, followed by some messages from our esteemed pool of honorary graduates and some well-known friends of GCU.
The poet Mary Oliver asks this question, what will you do with this one wild and precious life? I celebrate you 2021 graduates as you enter the world. Take this question with you. It will remind you that who you are and what you do matters, always. There's no doubt the pandemic has changed our world forever and recovery will take all of your collective skills and commitment. Be part of that recovery. You're armed with an incredible degree, great set of skills. So take hope and enthusiasm and all the very best for the future. Lots of luck to you and make sure to look after yourselves and of course each other. Lots of love. Learning is a lifelong process and I wish you all the very best uh, for the future. Congratulations to all the new graduates. You have achieved success under the toughest circumstances, which makes your success all the more special. So good luck, well done. Now, no graduate celebration would be complete without a message from our Chancellor, Dr Annie Lennox, OBE. Royal Academian, singer-songwriter, social activist and philanthropist, Chancellor Lennox works tirelessly to campaign for human rights and equality, particularly for women and girls, leading the way in delivering our common good mission. But before we hear from the Chancellor, a reminder that in the coming weeks you will have the opportunity to take part in official gowning and photography, and you will also receive your official graduate commemorative brochure. Further details will follow via email and social media. Once again, on behalf of the GC community, congratulations on your outstanding achievements. You are now officially part of our global alumni community. Your university will always be here for you, so please do remember to keep in touch. To bring our online celebration to a close, it's my honour to introduce our Chancellor, Dr Annie Lennox, OBE. As your Chancellor, I want to offer every one of you my heartfelt congratulations on this special day when you become graduates. This is a moment to acknowledge all the hard work and dedication it's taken to accomplish your intended goals. And I hope you can take just a moment to feel satisfied and proud of this fantastic personal accomplishment and memorable milestone in your lives. The commitment, determination and resilience you have shown to complete your degrees at this difficult time is to be commended. I'm so proud of you all, as are the university staff who've shared this journey with you. As we're all so keenly aware, this is not the way we would have envisaged your graduation to be. I very much share and appreciate how disappointing it is for us all not to be together today in person. But these are unprecedented times. And one thing I've realised is that human beings are able to adapt in more ways than we might have previously realised. Technology has offered an opportunity to connect in ways that we'd have never have imagined. And although this situation is not ideal, hopefully there'll be a time in the not too distant future when you'll be able to properly celebrate with your family and friends in a less physically distanced way. The global pandemic has changed many things, but it can't change the exceptional achievements of your cohort of graduates. Your education is a precious opportunity, not only for you, but for the whole world around you. So use your skills well. If you are already engaged in environmental activism, in human rights, or in global feminism, we applaud you. If you're thinking about getting on board with any of these issues, we fully encourage you to do so. We want you to succeed and make this world a better place in the best way you can. The world is waiting for you to get on board. Go out there and be an influencer, a contributor, a change maker. Become inspired and be inspirational in turn. And most of all, thrive and live your life to the best of your abilities. And now I'd like to take this opportunity 
to virtually doff you. So if you wouldn't mind, please bow your head like so, and I will reach out and virtually turn you into a wonderful graduate. Congratulations.